which is not a competition. And don't try this at home, but I've got plenty of scars from my years as a professional cyclist, and I'm going to take you through some of them now. Every scar's got its own story. Oh, by the way, I'm Daniel Lloyd, sorry. I've been a professional cyclist for 10 years. I rode for the Cervelo Test Team and Garmin Cervelo the last couple of years, and more recently, IG Sigma Sport, but now I'm doing more of this kind of stuff, like you know, presenting. Anyway, let's go through a few of my scars. This was a long time ago, back in 97, when I was only 17 years old. Up in County Durham, I was out mountain biking, practicing around one of the national circuit rounds. Came off on a downhill on a fire trail at about 30 miles an hour. I scraped my complete elbow up, but the worst bit was I got half of the gravel of County Durham in this left hip. And my worst ever crash was out on the bike on a recovery ride on my own when my fork snapped. And my fork snapped, so did my collarbone and so did my pelvis. You can see that here, the collarbone's coming right out. You can't see anything on my pelvis, but that was the most painful thing that I ever had to go through. I crashed again on this hip at the Tour of Qatar in 2011, crashed twice in two days at over 55 kilometers per hour, and that was the same time that I got this neck scar, because I didn't really have very much skin left at all. I also broke my other collarbone, this one here on the right, back in the Giro di Lombardia, or the Tour of Lombardy, back in 2011, so it actually was in a race, this one. What was I doing? Well, I was being dropped on one of the climbs, so I was chasing to get back on. What does that say about me as a rider? Well, I was dropped a lot and I had to catch up a lot, and so I crashed a lot. I think I'm getting the hang of this now, so anyway, that's from a race back in 2005, where the peloton just suddenly swooshed to the left, and I had to jump up on the curb. I was on the drops, and there was a big concrete wall down the left-hand side, and my knuckles just scraped all the way down it. I was behind the car in training. I was going pretty fast, about the same speed as the car. He tried to go onto the petrol forecourt, and there was no room left, so he just stayed on the road, and I just didn't have time to brake or go out the direction of the car. So I went sailing through the back of his rear windscreen, that's where I did that, and exactly the same crash is where I got these scars here as well. Now this is one of my best ones because it looks unbelievable, and it was a bit of an epic fail to be honest. When I was 10 years old, I lived next to some fields. I was always climbing over the barbed wire fence. One day I slipped 26 stitches. I didn't really cry much for any of my crashes or any of my scars, but there was one in particular where I absolutely bawled my eyes out. That was when I was three. My dad spent all morning building up a slide for me to go down. Lunchtime I got on it, first time down, hit the bottom, big sharp stone at the bottom, sliced my hand open here, still got a scar 30 years later. You can add your comments below, just down here in this little box, go and tell me what you think. And you can also subscribe now and get more great content from the Global Cycling Network.